Buenas on half a day. Behind me is the famous Luhan House, one of the few existing pre-World War II homes on Guam. And we have been invited here to learn about an important ancient instrument called the Belen Batuzin. Now, not only are we going to learn the history behind the Belen Batuzin, we're going to learn to play the instrument, and we're going to find out how the music behind the instrument has been passed on from generation to generation. What made you interested to actually learn how to make this and play this? And who taught you? It wasn't until when I was in college that, uh, that I heard there was even a program. Uh, it was the, the Kaha of the Dr. Humanities. And so one of the, you know, we had a guest speaker come to our class and she talked about the Judy. And she talked about the, the folk arts program and trying to preserve uh, uh, a lot of the traditional arts. So I called her up and said, no, I'm interested in the been about two days or anybody. Well, she said that there was still somebody around and he was the last one at that time. He was still the last one. How was it um, working under Master Chris Asimov? He was really nice. I like. I really enjoyed him. That This was like 20 years ago. This was 1992 when I was really young. So um, he, was, he was very patient. He was very uh, generous with his knowledge. All the years, uh, you know, he experimented with uh, the size, the cord, the length, and whatever materials were around until he came up with um, his own uh, version of what he likes. Out with an interest, and then I said, Oh, okay. And then once people you said, Oh, you're the one you, you're learning from two sisters, they said, Yeah, hey, can you come to my class and uh, demonstrate? You know, in the school. So I started doing that, and then, then, but then the teacher says, Can you teach me how to can you make me one? And I say, I'd rather show you, or let's do it together. I, I prefer passing it that way where I actually teach them because you know, then it, 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 um, it gets even further, right. Is a is a board. Uh, these are not the local boards. These are the boards that we just order. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take one of your boards. You're going to look for the the widest part, and that's where you're going to make the cut for the bottom part. Okay. And then find a narrow part also where you're going to place here. You know, with a knife or a blade, uh, just. Uh, you know, get, make uh, curves around it so that it can rest uh, nicely on it. You want to teach me how to But let's face it, I don't even know how to. I've never done this. It's just a little. You gauge the, the, the length with your finger. Okay. And but you then just it's spin, spin, spin the board. Mm -hmm. See if I could do this, you guys could do this. So here's me trying. You see this? I started off with low intention and I. Ended up curled down here. Yeah, well, it also has to do with that shape. But once I pick the spot and I start hacking away, you'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So we just got to find a happy medium. This is not just a hey, you cut a piece of stick out, tie a string. Everything has a reason for it. When I first heard this, when we walked in, we first initially heard it. I thought, wow, that has a almost a a harmonic sound like a didgeridoo does. Now, the bigger the gourd, the different the sound. Right. When you're, you know, really making your own instrument, right? You're really, you're really meditating, and you're, you know, you, you really have that that, that sense of uh, of really trying to, you know, um, preserve history and tradition. This is that one uh, piece of wood, right? It came from a tree branch, and it came from a banalo tree. Nowadays, uh, banalo is not, you know, it's uh, <clears throat> not as abundant around the island anymore because it usually grows around coastal areas or along river banks. So we use uh, pagu wood, and that's. And that's a wild hibiscus, right? Which is like found every, anywhere. And then this wire, one string came from uh, the steel bands of a tire. A belted wire. That's the, the good thing about it. At least you get five out of it. <laughs> of one tire. It's like a guitar, but it's more percussive because you're going to use a stick. And then you strike uh, just on either side of the... And they don't really make 
very slight uh, changes, right? And so these frets here come up by interesting you know what I like about it that I'm left-handed so it was very challenging to learn to play guitar this is one of the first ambidextrous natural instruments I've ever seen oh, yeah, yeah, sure. this is neat I love it Bellabao means like uh, rumbling or vibration Tuzan is your is your tummy so Bellamba Tuzan bumbling stomach It's so much fun. And I have to say, one of the best parts of our visit is meeting all the talented musicians who are committed to preserving our Chamo culture. For more information on the Bell and Bautuzi, or for class information, call Kaha at 300 I'm Lieutenant Commander Ed Casas. Zanguahusi Colleen to Nicholas Perez. Girin Hanini, Joint Region Mariana's Public Affairs. Donkulina Sudzulis Maasi. Adios, Kaha. Estaquita.